What is up everyone, Movie Wayne back again with another review. This is going to be for the movie Spree and this is directed by Eugene Kotel Yarenko. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this stars Joe Keery, Sashia Zamata and David Arquette. Now this tells the story of a vlogger who can't quite get the views that he wants. After 10 years of trying he comes up with hashtag the lesson which involves killing people in his videos to get the attention he has always craved. I first heard about this movie a couple of weeks ago when I was looking at the upcoming films for the month and I instantly became interested when I read what it was about and stuff because I just thought that sounds like my type of movie you know and it's a 2020 release it's coming to the cinemas so I was all in and the fact that Joe Keery was the star of this film actually pushed me towards it even more because I'm a big fan of Stranger Things and he's a really really likeable character in that show. And he's really, really good in this movie. In fact, he's better than good. He didn't disappoint at all. And I hope to see him in more things in the future, and I'm certain he will be. His character, Kurt, is very, very likeable, which is kind of weird because he's doing absolutely terrible things to people in this film. But Joe Carey just brings a certain charm to the character that not many other actors could pull off, to be honest, or would struggle to pull off. And I think that's what the movie was going for. So he did a fantastic job in the main role here, really. And the way this movie is filmed kind of surprised me a little bit. I mean, looking back, I probably should have anticipated it because this is about a vlogger. And, you know, most of it is filmed through Joe Keery's point of view. For example, this movie is called Spree, because he goes on a killing spree, obviously. But also, he is a spree driver in this movie, which is kind of like an Uber taxi service. And he's got cameras all over this vehicle inside. You know, and he's doing most of his kills in this in this vehicle that he drives people around in. So it's kind of like a live video that we're watching, a live stream. And some of it is through Kurt's phone and stuff as well. And it's like a found footage film, but a unique found footage film. It's like something I'd never really seen before. And it was a really interesting way of filmmaking. And for the most part, it really, really worked. I really did enjoy this way of filmmaking. As far as kills go in this movie, guys, they are pretty terrible at first, but that's the point. That is the movie being clever, and I'll explain why. Because Kurt is just a terrible vlogger. He has never been good at it, and he comes up with ways to kill people, like I've mentioned before, but he does it in the most boring possible way. So this isn't a spoiler, guys. At the start of the movie, he's just poisoning people in the back of his cab with bottles of water that he's injected, you know, this poison into. And it's just the worst possible way to watch someone be murdered. <laughs> I mean, not that we all like to watch people be murdered, but, you know, if you're going to watch a film and you just watch this guy going around poisoning people with bottles of water, you'd be pretty bored after, like, 30 minutes or something. <laughs> so he's even terrible at that when it, it comes to killing people. But as the movie goes on, he starts to get a little bit more inventive. And as the views start going up, the kills become much better in this movie. Some of them do happen off camera, but I didn't mind that because it leaves enough for your imagination. Now, throughout this movie, guys, there's also some live comments that you can see from people who are watching Kurt live. And they're just in the bottom right-hand corner there. And, you know, some of these comments are absolutely hilarious. <laughs> like, Kurt will kill someone... And someone will just just type underneath, you suck, bro. Or, <laughs> you know, this is fake as fuck. <laughs> and, you know, it, the movie just captured social media in a nutshell because that is what people online are like, aren't they? And I thought the movie got that spot on there. Now, I was really digging this movie, guys. It was gaining so much momentum. Like I said, the kills were getting better. He was getting the views up. And for some reason, the movie just hit a brick wall, smack bang in the middle there. And nothing really happened for a good 20, 25 minutes, just as I was getting really into this film. And it really, really frustrated me because the audience I was with was probably loving it. The audience that was watching Kurt in the movie, you know, the, the fake audience, were probably loving it as well. So why the movie decided to just have a breather, a very long breather there, while, you know, Kurt is gaining all this momentum and all these views, just really, really baffled me, and it is easily the biggest negative of this film. The first half is fantastic, the second half is kind of dull. Thankfully, the ending of this movie does save it. 
Now, I don't quite get why Kerr called this the lesson because I don't really remember many points in the movie where he talks to the audience and says, you need to learn from this or these are the consequences of one's actions when you ignore them. He might as well have just called it Kurt's murder spree. Why the lesson? Just didn't make sense to me, really. There's also a couple of times in this movie where things just go in Kurt's favour way too much. I mean, the police know there's a killer out there in a spree cab. But things just fall for him a little bit too much and it's a minor nitpick, I can live with it, but it took a little bit of realism out the movie for me, unfortunately. Talking about realism though, another problem for me is the Jesse Adams character, I'm afraid. I mean, she's one of the bigger characters in the movie and she's a comedian in this film, but she is not funny in the slightest. Now, the problem with that is I don't think she'd have this huge following that she's got in this movie because she is so boring, so uninteresting. <sighs> she just really was a bad character in this film. I mean, she's not a bad actress. It was just the way her character was written. And I don't know if the movie was going for this because there's times where Kurt's watching her live going, how is she getting this many views? And maybe the movie is poking fun at that a little bit. But for me... I just couldn't believe that at all. I mean, there's no way she would have this following because she was just a terrible character, I thought. I mean, there's times where she's on stage in this movie and people are laughing, but she's not funny. <laughs> it's just, I can't believe she's a comedian. I mean, if you're going to have a comedian in the movie, at least have them say a few funny quotes. David Arquette's here as well, and to be honest, he didn't really bring much to the movie either, I'm afraid. Also, before, when I mentioned the live comments, yes, they are funny to read, but also, half the time, it distracts you from what is happening on screen. I mean, there's times where a brutal murder is taking place and you're too busy looking at the comments, so you're missing, like, half the scene. I understand why they're there, though. It's a nice little touch, but it's kind of a catch-22 situation at times. I'm just going to go ahead and rate this movie now, guys. I'm going to give Spree... A 6 out of 10. This movie had some really good things going for it, especially the first half. I just wish we had a better script to improve the second half of the movie, because overall this might have been a better experience. But if you like slasher type found footage movies, there might be something here for you. At the end of these reviews, guys, I always like to leave a little fun fact. Now, the fun fact for Spree is that Joe Keery was made to cut his hair a bit shorter to distract the audience from their memories of him being Steve Harrington in Stranger Things, because this is a totally different character. Okay, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this review. If you want to subscribe, it's up to yourself. Got a lot more reviews coming, lots more different videos. And if you want to comment about the movie Spree, Please leave them below. I will reply to every single one of you. I promise. Take it all easy, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.